Yo, what's going on folks? It's your boy Blessed Jeff back at it again with a new recipe. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Blessed Wild folks here. Bring out new recipes each and every week that are easy to follow, delicious, but most importantly, they're fun, you know? Cooking is all about having a good time in the kitchen. All right, without further ado, today's recipe is something that I love to make. My Cajun crusted lamb chops, that is correct. Take a rack of lambs, cut them up to little lollipops, and boom. Folks, stay tuned, you don't wanna miss it. If you're new here, do me a favor, subscribe and hit the bell. It really helps with me and going to the channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's going on folks? I miss you guys so much. Without further ado, let's get into it, come on. All right, this my friends is a rack of lamb. Let's go ahead and get ourselves acquainted. First things first, all this silver skin or the fat, let's go ahead and cut that excess off. It's not needed, you know. There's enough fat on there as is. Yes, fat is flavor, but too much fat, you don't want. All right, so do to the best of your abilities, go ahead and cut off all the fat. And so now, if you look in between all of the different racks, there's a little membrane. And so the best way to do it is get a nice sharp knife and go ahead and cut in between all those slits. Just like that, make your way through all of the racks. If you're curious as well, rack of lamb comes from the rib area of the actual lamb. Let's now go and get our spice mix together. All the exact measurements will be down below, but we have onion powder, garlic powder, non-salted Cajun, salted Cajun, parsley, and some salt. Let's go ahead and give it a nice mix, ensuring that everything is thoroughly combined. And from there, at this point, we're gonna make sure we get maximum coverage on the lamb chops. So that's right. Make sure, again, nice and evenly mixed. So we're gonna cover both sides. Very important, all right? cover both sides and of course once you have that maximum coverage feel free go ahead and press it down just to make sure that all those spices adhere i'm telling you guys flavor 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 that is what we want and boom final product let's go all right get your pan of choice nice and hot i'm doing a cast iron because it calls for a great crust add any high smoke point oil so avocado oil vegetable oil canola whatever you got and from here, once your pan is nice and hot, go ahead and add your lamb chops. Now, you don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I did about six this first time around. Again, just so don't overcrowd it. You get the gist. And from there, we want to give it literally three minutes on each side. Yes, three minutes, don't touch it, let them do the thing. And from there, we're gonna flip it and get a nice crust. Three minutes, do not touch. Now, look at this. Let me show you something. That's the crust we want, all right? And again, my heat was on the medium high, so about a seven. Of course, if you want a deeper, darker crust, feel free to increase the heat more. But again, I don't want my smoke detectors going off, so I kept mine on a seven. And again, once we flip them, another three minutes on this side without touching it, all right? Very important, don't touch it. I know it's hard not to do it, but don't touch it. From here, three minutes has elapsed. Let's go ahead and take it out. We're gonna add the rest and cook everything through. Again, same thing, three minutes without touching. Come on, look at that crust. You cannot tell me that it's not beautiful. We're gonna flip all of them in another three minutes on the other side. All right, at this point, let's go ahead and reintroduce all the lamb chops back into the pan. We wanna just finish off the cooking to get a nice crust on there, some nice color and a bit more flavor. Let's come up with a knob of butter and from here, that our spice mix from earlier, let's come back in and add it again. This step is crucial, all right? This just adds that last bit of flavor and from here, let's now base. So all that delicious butter flavor, go ahead and douse it all over, flip the lamb chops and do the same thing on the other side. Now, look at that crust. This is what we want. Nice, deep crust. Again, let's go ahead and base the other side. And folks, next thing's next. Let's hit with a little bit of parsley for some nice color and check this out. And here we have the final products. All right, looking delicious. And again, with lamb chops, you can cook it however you like it. So whether medium rare, medium, it's up to you. Let's go ahead and plate up to the best of your abilities. Again, hit it with a little bit of parsley. And this step, I love so much. 
drizzle some of that Cajun butter sauce over it. I'm telling you folks, this is just flavor, flavor, flavor. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, tasty, delicious. Oh, you guys are going to love this. And from here, you know, how we can do now? Enjoy it. Oh, I mean, come on. Look at that. That is just, that's just beauty on a plate. Just looks so delicious, so decadent. I'm telling you, whoever you make this for, they will love and appreciate you so much. It's about that time. Let's give it a try. Folks, listen. <laughs> These lamb chops are, oh, I can't even talk. Amazing, oh my goodness. All the flavors are there. The Cajun flavor, that garlic powder, the onion powder. Folks, I'm telling you, this recipe you must, must, must try. So good. Folks, I gotta go, but please do me a few favors. If not already, go ahead and subscribe. I'm telling you. You will not regret it. It helps me out a ton. I will so appreciate it. Hit the bell as well. That way, anytime I upload, you'll be up to speed. You won't miss another recipe. Folks, I gotta go. The three things I gotta tell you. You should know by now. God is love. Food is good. Now let's cook. Till next time, folks. Peace. Work. <laughs>